must be Angie on the mic. The butter pea, honey, got the sugar, got the spice. Roll the L sight, keep the rhymes right. Y'all, I just made this motherfucker up last night. And uh, I'm the rookie on this all star team. Me and Kim is getting cream, like Delman Louise, but on chrome. Never leave that Brooklyn shit alone. So if you say it's on, then it's on. Bang this in your whips. Back from Cody Rody with the chips in the wrist. Here's a French kiss. I dismiss all you chicks. Fit six from the fourth, fifth. Make it dance. Hello and welcome. This is Ladies Night right here on Independent Television. It's always a delight to have you join us on the show. My name is Ameze Owai Siagun, your regular host on the program. Of course, we always have something interesting to talk about. We have um, fantastic topics, topical issues to discuss on the show. As usual, I always have ladies in the building, but today, uh, unfortunately, I've got just one lady. So we are ladies together, <laughs> going to be doing the ladies night show for tonight. Um, this period, before I introduce who is actually with me, this period, I think a lot of people are complaining about the hike in prices of foodstuffs. I hear onion is now gold. It's now like diamond, like you have to search for it. And when you do find it, you have to pay so much to get it. And a lot of other food items are actually skyrocketed the prices have actually skyrocketed and um, I think what a lot of people are now talking about is the need to save for the future now if you've had money or if you have money saved up for such a time like this probably the price of onions will not be bothering you so much so today on the show we're going to be looking at um, the importance the essence the benefits the advantages of savings and uh, like I said I'm going to introduce the person who is with me today my lady, the ever glowing Sea White, Caroline Okonji. How are yeah, you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And the way you just give them a suspense, like they want to see <laughs> some of the Yes, they have to know which of the girls, which of the ladies oh actually joined me on the show today. But, anyways, um, just like she said, Caroline Okonji, the ever glowing Sea White, in the beauty. And of course, we'll be rocking the show together today. No Most dumb definitely. moments. No mm. dumb moments. So, that's it. Yeah, it's not going to be any difference. Don't be bothered that we're just two in the building. The others are actually uh, going to send in their own comments, their own views as well. So they will still be part of the show, but not present here. Same thing goes for you guys out there. You can always send us your comments and your opinions about the show. And of course, about the particular topic we're talking about, uh, talking about savings, the essence of saving. You can go up on Facebook. There's a post right there search for the page ladies night on itv slash radio and of course share with us your opinions share with us your own ideas share with us the way you can save or the best form of saving that you know now today basically like i said we're just talking about the essence of saving now a lot of people save for different reasons there some people are saving towards something some people are saving in case of something and some people are just saving for saving sake just because they like to see their money pile or increase. So we're going to talk about the different reasons why we save and uh, what is the benefit of saving. I'll start off with the different reasons why we save and uh, see why it will help us do justice to that. Uh, what do you feel are the reasons a lot of people save? You as a person, let me start with you. Do you save? Well, I, I think uh, saving is one of the things I learned right from my childhood. I love saving a lot because then you love saving. Yeah, I wow. love saving because I love buying things without asking for money. My mom sends me to the market, and whenever I go to the market, then she will give me transport fare. I prefer to trek just because I want to save. Or sometimes she will give me, okay, um, this is a transportation fare. Uh, you just want to buy something in the market after buying things and all that. I was so okay. At the end of the day, that particular one she gave me for buying of something else, Mr. Dennis, you know, I still want to keep it aside because I want to save and at the end of the day, bring out the money that I have saved to buy something big. And one of the things I like buying is I'll buy those um, ceramic spoon, ceramic plates, ceramic cob and all that because I just want to have them to myself. And I'll be or like, you're planning for your wedding. I was still very young then. I think I was it's playing. possible. There's no girl out. I don't oh, think there's any girl I out wasn't there. There's was nothing like planned. wedding in the picture. Even when they were small like this. There was nothing like wedding in the picture. I just okay. like buying things, home, home appliances and all that. Kitchen things and everything. So I'll be like, mom, this is it all. 
see what I want to buy. I've been saving my money. Or she gives me money to go to school. I'll be keeping 10, 10 naira. I have a place where I write them down. 10 naira. 10 naira. I'm marking it. So at the end of the day, I'll just come up with something big and I'll show it to my mom. So my mom gave me a name then. So talking about saving, it is actually money set aside for future use, for emergency. But basically, saving is all about keeping money aside. So you just said, um, okay, I've answered your question by saying, yes, I do save. Yes, okay. I save. And I like saving. So the so, reasons, why do, why do people save? A lot of people have different reasons, yes. But what are the common reasons why people save? Common reason why people save. I think one of the common reasons why people save. I think you mentioned Let me something. Not just you said something about emergency. Yeah. Like you just set aside some money, some amount of money, maybe weekly, daily, monthly, Depending yearly. on how depending on what you want and uh, you, you're just keeping the money there not because you know what you're going to use it for but because you feel something can come up something can crop up and i might need this amount of money and so when i do need it i have to have it ready so i think that's one of the reasons yeah for a, lot, a lot of reasons a lot of reasons why we should save. now okay you just talked about emergency other people have uh, probably for um, should I say retirement? Some mm -hmm. people just say for their retirement, uh, so that by the time you're done working for somebody and actually yes, sir, yes, man, all that, <laughs> they have something to, to fall back yeah. to and probably start up their own business if they want to wait until they are retired to start a business. Why some people say because they want to help others. Some people just say, let me just be keeping this money. Somebody might just come on there and ask me for help and I might not have it. So let me just be saving in case anybody comes out, have something to give to the person. Why some people save uh, because they, they you, you've also talked about that one, they don't want, know what to do. They just feel like, I want to be saving my money. Let me be keeping my money. I want to hear myself say, okay, I have 10 billion in my account. I have 10 trillion in my account. Just want to know that I have, I have cool money chilling out somewhere. Why some people save for so many reasons, for vacation, for... Uh, for education for their children, or even those who are not yet married, they just want to save. Maybe if I born now, I don't know. I want to send my <laughs> child abroad to school abroad. So yeah. let me be saving now. So everybody have different reasons as to why they want to save. Some people just save. Okay, I want to save now because tomorrow I would want to take myself out. So let me start saving the money. Everybody have different reasons. And truth be told, if you really want to achieve anything, you must learn how to save if you want to build a house it is possible if only you can learn how to save if you want to buy a car by okay let me say um june next year and you don't even have the money but you know you're working you can actually achieve that if only you just fall back to saving yes you might not be able to get the exact amount before june depending on the kind of car you want to buy but i also believe that when you start saving yes it can actually help you to be able to meet up to um, a target like half of the money then yeah. probably you can make it up yourself if you're working and yeah so a lot of people have different reasons as to why they are saving okay. but if you ask me why am i saving i'm not be able to tell you my <laughs> own reason <laughs> okay now we, we just established that there are a lot of reasons why people yeah. save. yeah now i feel there are also a lot of reasons or a lot of ways through which people save. Yeah. I hear Osusu. Mm -hmm. I hear, uh, I don't want to advertise any copy now. I was just about to mention the name of one. But there are some online, should I say saving sites or saving apps or saving yeah, banks exactly. where you can also set aside some money. They even help you do that. So do we enlighten people on the various uh, platforms available? How yes. can you actually save? Some people say they're not disciplined enough. So what are the ways that they can explore that will make them disciplined to be able to save money okay i think um, one thing we need to understand is anything is possible if only you're determined mm -hmm. now if you really want to save and you, you're this kind of person that is extravagant like you don't know how to keep money you don't have, when you see money all the only thing you're thinking about is i want to go get something I want, to buy, I want to spend i want to buy I want to, everything you want, like you want to buy everything so it's going to be based on your kind of personal decision if you are disciplined you'll be able to save money so i think the only thing we need to tell them here now is self-control 
discipline and be able to tell yourself you can always achieve anything within your path if only you are determined now talking about the various um, platforms that we can actually save with now you know the like okay let me say this in every um advantage there is also a disadvantage so if we're going to be talking about savings the different methods like some people would prefer to save at home and at the end of the day they'll be saving in their stomach <laughs> so uh, i wouldn't call that saving but if you tell yourself you can actually save at home you can there are other um home savings um, i don't know things that they have like uh, those small box with like an a open piggy bank yeah. exactly a piggy bank and you can or have safe. that at home my brother if now don't we get a key you can throw away the key you throw understand key. or don't even have the one that have key just the one that have that tiny hole up there just be putting your money there till the very day or the year or the month you want to open it up you just bring it out and open it up so for those people who also be saving in the bank it's an ideal thing because you feel your money is safer there and it's really safer there because anytime any year any month you can fall back to the bank and if you want to be using other apps those online apps online saving apps yes yeah. exactly thank you you have to ensure that those apps is not something you just entrust your money with without making sure that these apps are genuine legit, are real yeah. are legit so that you don't end up crying had i know at the end of the day so all these things can actually help you it will definitely help you so all you're going to be doing is try to look for a reliable um, source and be saving with that particular source make sure it's a genuine so that you don't end up losing your money okay, to an unknown had I known. you know <laughs> yeah that's it okay 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 like uh we have established yes there are different ways to save yes there are different reasons why people save and uh so far i think there are a lot of benefits as well as to why people save a lot of people save for reasons which are beneficial to them mm. so that will be the last thing i'll be asking c white uh i don't want to really talk too much today because we have to go on the streets we have to talk to a lot of people out there today's a special episode like i said as we started off the show we want to get you guys talking tonight and uh, of course we also have uh yeah uh for other ladies talking about mama p miss praise miss pearl yeah. mj and they're all going to be sending their um videos soon i think some are already landing so they are going to be telling us their own opinions about this right away but before we get to them uh see white what yeah. do you think is the benefit like you've been saving for a long while like you said how has it benefited you okay uh i've been able to achieve some of the things ordinarily i think i won't be able to achieve it made it easy for me now let, let's say for instance you have um, a lot of ceramic plates <laughs> no spoons. that was when i was <laughs> younger like when i was a child okay <laughs> like, but for now uh, well you can still say that it's still same thing because mm -hmm. i actually saved for the plates i have for my fridge and every other thing i have in the house i actually saved for it so one of the things i have stand to benefit from my saving is that it makes whatever i want easy for me like i don't have to stress myself was i thinking who am i going to borrow money from or how do i get this oh god i really want this and i don't even have the money how do, who do i run to it have really saved me a lot of stress like i don't have to overthink i don't have to rack my brain because of little little things yes little little things i say maybe if it is something bigger i maybe i might fall back i will look for someone to call upon but even if i'm going to be calling upon somebody but at least i should have something to contribute to whatever i'm going to be borrowing from or taking anywhere i'm going to be taking loan from because if you don't have savings okay let me just quickly say this i had a friend back then he said he wants to open a boutique and he wants some amount of money so the first question i asked him was how much do you have so he was like well he doesn't have any money but he just believed his uh, auntie the husband this and that will assist i said but truth be told if you don't going have to, anything to offer. he doesn't even have anything no so and i said to him that truth be told they might want to help you but i believe the first question a reasonable person will ask you before giving you money is okay how much do you have at least let me know what you've been able to raise for yourself so that i will add my to it 
So he felt like I was joking. So I told him after that, he said, well, I'll just try my best and see what I can actually raise. And along, along the line, he wasn't able to get anything. He still went out to source for fun. And the same thing I told him was the same question we were asking. Okay, how much have you been able to raise okay. for yourself? How much do you have? He could not defend himself. At some point, he started lying that he has been able to raise so so amount of money. And they were giving him little, little things because they feel, okay, this is the little I can actually support you with. And at the end of the day, he went to the market to buy clothes. He bought his size all through. <laughs> I, was, I was like, my word, you want to start up a business, you went to the market, you were just busy buying your taste. No, I think, I think what he was trying to do was, okay, if people don't patronize me, at least I can still fall back No, and that was, According to him, that wasn't his intention. Really? So, so what, what just, other reason would you buy what It was when he came back. Want? I don't know. It was when he came back. He said, okay, he's carrying the clothes around and all that. He's a very slim person. He said, ah, look at our size. This one, it's too slim. This one, I've been at your, now your clothes, you go by, can't say once. He said, no. So it was later he realized that he actually went to the market with his own taste not with the public yeah. mindset so what I'm trying to say here is sometimes it is good to save and for me I have really benefited a lot from saving okay I, I, I know I told you something about something one day I said um, the Empress I want to buy a generator and you also said okay I can actually save towards this angle and set aside money for gen particularly and you know about that so I believe now if I really want to just say okay I want to buy gen today now I know I can actually get it because I have been able to do Save that. Money. But I have Jen already, so that you not be thinking I don't have Jen. <laughs> I want to buy something quite different. I have to play. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ideally, for you to be able to relax your mind in anything you want to do, save. Because I have benefited a lot from it. It's made me comfortable when I go to the supermarkets or when I go to anywhere. Just say, okay, I want to buy something. And I just bring out the money without stressing myself or I just give them my ATM card and they slide it in and I make my payments for my savings accounts. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, you've heard from C. White and I'm sure a lot of you have some opinions that you want to air, you want to share. Like I said, you can go up on Facebook Ladies Night on ITV slash radio and uh, there's a post there, like I said. Mm -hmm. You can make your own comments known, make your own opinions known and of course, uh, Join us in the conversation. I have a... Uh, want to say something? Yes, I really want to say something. Okay. You know, you talked about something when we said the show, when you said um, the hiking, prices, Yes, the onions food, is now onion. gold. My brother, my sister. Hmm. Truth be told now, we are learning how to cook without onion. <laughs> I yeah, find that because, really hard. Uh, yeah, we speaking. need to. Oh, uh, I also say a post uh, um, from a friend that he was saying, ha, huh, People are now calling a uh, aboki people sweetheart baby because of one <laughs> My sister, I, is, I wouldn't blame them, but truth be told, the way the thing is going, I think the best way we can be using onion now, buy suya 200 naira and they will slice it. No, let the onions be bigger than the suya. That's the best way. So, it, you know, sometimes we should also learn that, we should also understand this by that. Some of all these things are being caused by ourselves. Any little thing that happens, everybody wants to use as an opportunity to yes, extort yes. money from the from us from us. You get it? I went to buy sashi tomatoes and they were like one fifty. Hansi, I don't <laughs> get it. Well, that's that's the price. So I, I went there with just hundred naira. I was like, I, when she said one fifty, I said one fifty. Okay, just hold the hundred naira. I'll bring fifty naira back because I didn't know that it was one fifty that it has skyrocketed like that. But what I'm trying to say this is, it will also make plans for all these things. It won't affect us much. Yeah, true. You just be able to go to your savings account and you just bring out some money and okay, since this thing has been quit, like let me just buy in bulk, in bulk, so that I won't feel it much. Because by the time you want to start buying one one, one one, it's gonna cost too much. But if you're buying in bulk, uh, there there will be a discount for it. So save up your money and. Those things that they are increasing, onion, you will buy two buckets without even complaining. <laughs> yeah, very the true. sachet and tomatoes, you buy ten cartons without even complaining. So try and save and see what you benefit from saving. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. There's always, always a benefit, always an advantage of saving. And uh, if you aren't doing it already, you need to start. It's really, 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 should I say life saving at times, especially when it comes to. Um, emergencies mm -hmm. unexpected 
events that crop up and you need a lot of money to uh, address those things so you need to save towards that he doesn't have you don't have to actually say um i'm saving towards hospital bills for instance but you know that one day someday you, you need may it. need to go to the hospital and it's not just for the bad things your wife could give birth and you need to go to the hospital so you need to save towards all that anyways uh, i'm going to let uh, mama p miss praise um pearl and of course mj air their own opinions they're going to talk about uh what they feel is the essence of saving but we'll be right back it must be Angie on the mic, the butter pea, honey, got the sugar, got the spice. Go to L site, keep the rhymes right, y'all. I just made this mother up last night. And uh, I'm the rookie on this all-star team. Me and Kim is getting cream, like Delman Louise, but on chrome. Never leave that Brooklyn sh alone. So if you say it's on, then it's on. Bang this in your whips. Pack them cold and with the chips in the wrist. Here's a French kiss. I dismiss all you chicks. Spit six from the fourth, fifth. Make it dance. Ow! I stay focused. Well, Empress, you have said enough and you have said a lot. Well, for me, you know, most persons believe that savings or the or the need for savings is not necessary. But for me, I, I feel like the reasons for savings can never or ever be overemphasized. People need to learn how to save. We need to learn how to save. We don't need to eat with both our hands and then finish everything today and then be looking at our tomorrow. Like what is it going to become or what are we going to do with our tomorrow? Persons do not understand the reasons or the needs for saving. When you, some persons will tell you, I have little money so I have not eaten. Then what do you now want me to do? So you want me to be saving? How much will I not even save from the little money that I have? But they don't understand that when you save, even from the little money that you have, when you accumulate it, it can become something tomorrow. Just imagine that you are a low income earner, and I know you have a lot of basic amenities to even settle, better not save. But if you can save from that money that you make from that little money that you make you see that you'll be able to settle much more important necessities later in the future in the nearest future so to speak the the reasons why we save okay let's say you want to purchase something now and then you don't have money anywhere how are you going to get it whereby you have not be saving over time how are you going to get it? And that thing is so necessary that you now need to go and be borrowing money. Where you did not need to even, uh, uh, um, let me say, tap into that ministry of borrowing, but you could have saved a long time ago, but you didn't. Savings helps us to, pre uh, to prepare ourselves for emergencies, unplanned occurrences. We do not plan for some things, but they just happen. And then we, we need the money to settle those things out. Do, that is what savings help you to do. Some persons even save to invest, which I encourage, by the way, because we do not just wake up and then a, a billion dollar bills fall, falls on us. Sometimes we have to save to invest. Thereby, if we can save to invest and then we just leave that money there, over time it still becomes something. This is what some persons do not understand. Like my mom always said, you don't need to eat with both of your hands today and then your hands will be empty tomorrow when when you save you take care of your tomorrow you avoid begging you avoid borrowing you avoid a lot of crying and wailing running up and down when you save there are dividends and there are evidence of saving there are advantages of saving when you save you just have that money there that money that you kept there that you don't even know you will touch or that you don't even know maybe you'll be able or will be available when that emergency arises you just have that money to to settle it and then you are fine you are good nobody even know that you went through such issues well, between saving and investing, I would say investing is much more better. So if you can save to invest, it is still okay. But if you, can, if you want to buy into saving, you want to key into saving or savings, it is still okay. As long as that money that you saved, that you're supposed to spend on one unnecessary item today, you saved it, can help you for something important tomorrow. That's my take on it. Good evening, ladies. My name is Praise Amorogwe, but I guess you already know that by now. 
and now we're going to be talking about benefits of savings i know amazon must have talked about savings so i'm just going to rush it and say that savings is income kept aside money that one has saved can just like the easiest definition for savings now i'm going to rush it and go straight to the point now benefits of savings i know when people hear about savings they start thinking ah savings is only for rich people but that's wrong everybody should save regardless no matter how small nothing is ever too small to save so i'm just going to go straight to the point now number one benefit of saving is it gives you freedom now freedom i mean like not being stuck in one particular career one particular thing because you're scared that if you leave you will not have any salary or anything like just imagine that you're working in a place and the values do not align with the kind of values that you, the kind of things that you like or your values and then you'll be scared because you can't leave because you don't have any savings you have nothing so you're stuck there there's no flexibility you have no choice but when you have savings you can say oh mom i'm tired i cannot do this anymore i can decide i can take my savings and do something else so that's one of the sweet benefits of savings now i'm just going to rush it now number two um, benefit of saving is it gives you the ability to take calculated risk i know i wonder like why would i want to save to take a risk but yes it gives you the benefit of taking calculated risk now i'm just going to give an example you might be working in a place and you love your job too and but you also have passion for something else like you want to try another thing so if you have money kept aside you can say okay let me take from this money let's say this my passion is going to cost me about 300k to do it and i have saved up to like a million naira two million five hundred thousand i can say okay let me take from my savings and try this thing out let me try out my passion let me try it out it can also be that you keep saved up money and then you hear about this real estate what is this real estate what's it all about and then you choose to invest in it that's one of the beauty you can take risk and say okay from my savings let me take money to invest from my savings let me do this so that's one of the beauty of savings like it gives you that ability to take calculated risk like okay even if i take this risk i still have something to fall back on then another beautiful benefit of savings is it gives you security and if you wonder that's the job of police now <laughs> but then savings gives you this security because nobody can tell what happened tomorrow and i'm not giving you that guarantee i'm not saying that so that you can go and squander your money or something but fine Nobody can tell what would happen tomorrow. That's one of the reasons you should save. We're not praying to fall sick or anything. We're not praying for that kind of emergency to happen. But what if it happens? What are you going to do? You go to the hospital these days, they'll tell you that. Um, or if you don't pay any, like deposit something, we cannot treat you. See so that time you're going to start looking for money around or something. Another thing, there's that security that, okay, yes, I know that my future is secured. I know that, okay, even if I retire, I have something to fall back on. I have something to take care of myself. What if that place you're working in now? I'm not praying, for, I'm not praying for anything bad to happen to you. But what if it happens? What are you going to do? What if the, where you're working now, it closes? What if your business, like there's no profit? Like, okay, see what happened? before the pandemic before the lockdown rather i got the side hustle the side job thing that i was supposed to start doing so we had everything arranged already and lockdown happened so i couldn't go ahead with it so they told us after the lockdown now we're in november <laughs> like that's how many months now and i didn't get any feedback from them if i didn't have any side hustle or any savings or other kind like my savings to keep myself okay so i had to take from my savings if i didn't have any savings what would I have been doing? I would have been waiting for them that, ah, oh my, what am I going to do? Start looking for something to do. The, the, in fact, the benefit of savings can never be overemphasized. Like, it's just too much. There are so many reasons for security, financial freedom, peace of mind. I know you're wondering, yeah, peace of mind. That fact, I know that I have money somewhere just in case. I have money to feed myself. I have money to do these things. And even when you have money saved, you know that the chances of you falling sick will be low. <laughs> i know just try it now give money to somebody like okay just give somebody money you see that that person will be happy but when you know that you now have money somewhere <sighs> you know that my future is secured the joy tend to fall back on if there's a business that comes on like yeah i have something to do so the in fact just that saving nothing is too small if you cannot save with the one thousand the five hundred thousand hundred k fifty thousand whatever amount that you have is it when they give you millions of naira that you'll be able to save so just think about it. Eh? I encourage you to save. Encourage your children to save. Encourage your spouse to save. 
Encourage everyone around you to save. Nothing is too small. That idea of we not be just one key. We should drop that. Nothing is too small. Hello everybody. My name is Oruche Precious, also known as Mama P. And this is my one penny thought on the discussion today, titled Savings. Well, as you know, or how I think it, savings is all about setting aside some amount of money for future purposes. Could be positive or negative. Um, personally, I think that savings has three major advantages. And um, one, I'm going to name one by one. One, for purchases. Two, emergencies. And three, for world building. Now, dissecting it. For purchases, sometimes, or let me say, some assets that you get, some major assets that you acquire, is oftentimes got it from saving. Like you want to buy a car, you've been wanting to buy a car, you don't just wake up one money and go buy a car. It comes from your savings, you save towards it. You want to buy a house, your dream house, and you just saw one that you really want to acquire you get that money or you make that expense from your savings so you see that's one of the key advantage of savings purchases um great assets you get through your savings and then secondly i said um emergencies could be positive or negative probably um your spouse just had an accident something just happened an investment just came up that you have to um Put your money into and you're probably gonna get great returns if you don't have savings you see that passing you by if you don't have savings you see yourself constantly in tight corners asking for funds and um, when the payments are the time i'm gonna refund whereas if you've been saving you're gonna have spare cash to sort out those bills so that's another advantage of saving emergencies and lastly world building now you cannot you cannot be in the same level if you are a saver as someone who doesn't save there's this edge savings give to you do you understand like i talked about savings during emergencies it also comes in place of world building there are some certain opportunities that come that only a saver can partake in because if you're not saving most times you see yourself broke and opportunities just keep flying by um, I don't want to make this um, video too lengthy, but I hope it strikes the chord where, uh, where it's um, important the most. Saving is all about setting aside some money and you're saving for the sake of world building, for the sake of emergencies and for the sake of purchases. It gives you a more comfortable life. Thank you. And like I said, this is my one penny thought on saving. Hey guys, my name is Omaria Sousar. I'm a guest on the show, Ladies Night on ITV. Um, this is my view on um, the topic, benefit of saving. But before we move to benefit of saving, let's throw a light, my personal view on what saving is, on what I understand as saving. Saving is you putting aside some amount of money or kind. When I say kind, I mean maybe clothes or what have you for future purposes, perhaps to fulfill a short-term or a long-term goal. That, that's my perception and what I understand as saving. Now, benefit of this saving. Why are you putting aside something? There are a lot of benefits of saving and the, short, the benefits cannot be overemphasized. If we talk today, <laughs> but the truth is, the few points I, 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 I think are the major benefits of saving are one, it saves you from disappointment. When I mean disappointment is, and also saves you from disappointment, which are also incorporated as heart attack and uh, eventualities, shame. These are all in one when I take mean disappointment. Now, for adventure, you, you, you want to do something, or there's just the events that just popped up. There are so many events that pop up in our life as humans that aren't planned. God forbid, burial ceremonies, weddings are things of happiness. Or maybe one or two things can just happen, you know? Now, for example, a car just gets burnt in an accident, you have to replace it. And that car is like your source of income. You're into a car, but one or two stops, and that car is it's, it's very, very important in your mobility aspect. You have to replace it. So now, is it not the money you save somewhere that you're going to go and take to replace it? Or you're going to borrow money with ridiculous interest rate? Of course not. But when you have money saved up, that will be like something you can like, hey, fall back on, like, hey, I have this, you understand? That is one thing. That's why major, majority of persons in Western world invest in insurance company. They pay insurance. Why? 
okay, if my car gets burnt or one or two stops happen, or oh, I want to change my car. I only have that money there as my insurance, okay? So I can always go there and take. I can always get a replacement of a good car. I can always, okay, provincial shops get burned. Okay, my business is insured. And my insurance company comes take it authority and try to get me back on my feet. That is the, some money saved somewhere. It doesn't necessarily mean the money that you saved in one current or savings account somewhere. You know, understand? Excuse me. Although money saved in your current and savings account still play private role, but with this, but with this, having that money saved somewhere helps you to forge your head and do whatever it is you want to do. You get what I'm saying? Now, the next thing is, Benefit, another second benefit of saving is when I meet, um, it, it helps you to achieve your goals faster. It helps you to live a stress free life. Imagine how you save. You know how, like, okay, my salary or my source to become, you get what I'm saying. It comes. You know how to regulate your stress free life. You know how to live a very balanced life. You don't give yourself unnecessary issues and thoughts. Now, let's look at the part that, um, okay, you, you save, you know what to save. You know how to save, you know how to spend. You regulate not spending more than you earn, you regulate not spending more than you save. At least with that, you know how you, your standard of living and your lifestyle is. It's gonna be very organized and stress-free. Now you see some stuff and you work towards it. You save to buy a bag, you save to buy a shoe you like. Or you can just, okay, I think I have um, a spare money, something outside that I'm saving for my goal. I think I have like um, something to spare to buy this designer's bag. That's what you say. Because when you say it helps you to be able to achieve some goals, some petty, petty things. You know, we ladies, we like, I'm just in particular about ladies, even men too. You can do one or two side acting. You can, from the, 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 the spare money you have, when you have many saved, and you find out that, hey, I have this as extra, some extra bucks, you can take yourself out and chill. You can buy some one or two stuff on yourself. At the same time, you can even be actualizing another goal before the set goal that you're even setting or saving majorly for comes up. Now, it also helps you to, I, I don't know, but as an individual, it helps you to boost your confidence. Okay, I think this is not part of it, but to me, I for one, when I save, I have, I know, I'm saving. It, you, it helps you to boost your confidence and believe in yourself. That, hey, you can do something. Hey, you walk into something. It makes you more committed to your goal. Now, imagine if I am a woman and I got a job. No matter how secure your job is, job security, my husband is very rich, I have a side also. It doesn't stop me from saving. Why? Because if the charity happens, God forbid my husband's business crash. God forbid my side also in pain. Or God forbid my salary is not enough to carry us on in the family. So, so what, what's going to happen? You get what I'm saying? But when I have some money saved, it's a bit like, okay, I'll be able to, you know? That's why you see some couples who just met themselves, I don't know if they still do it now, but there are some like, hey, we can have our personal savings, so, but let's have a joint account. I won't call it a joint account, I'll call it a family account, where, okay, please, because there are things you don't plan for. No matter how you feel, you got everything under control. There are some certain circumstances you cannot just control. They must pop up. It ain't them popping up now, they pop up later. So that is this. But that's my idea about benefits of saving. And please, do say irrespective of the time of the year or whichever way you find yourself. Bye. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much, ladies, for your own opinions. And to all of you who are sending messages on Facebook already, we can see your messages. Thank you so much. They will be scrolling on the screen for you to watch them. All right, guys. Yes, um, we're going to actually head out of the studio. Our time is far spent. You've heard from our ladies, the other ladies who didn't make it here, and you've heard from those we met on the street as well. And uh, I want C.Y. to give us her last words before we head out of the studio. So, advice to the people out there. Yeah, my advice is still the same thing that I have been saying, talking about sins. It's all about you saving money to have a comfortable life and to ease yourself from a lot of stress and unnecessary um, thinking and running here and there. When you save you save yourself from stress. So if uh, people say that when you don't plan to succeed, you plan to fail. So I want you to plan on how to start saving so that you don't 
plan how to start running around to go borrow money from other people. And also let yourself know that self-discipline can also be a key to you saving. Don't tell yourself that I earn little money. I work and I earn how much. So how much will I be setting aside? Yes, no matter how little it is or no matter how little you're setting aside, it is something. It is really something that can actually make an ocean for you later. So don't just um, look down on your salary. Don't just look down on the little money you're setting aside. Telling yourself, if I decide to be setting aside 100, 100 naira a day or to 200, how much am I going to get in a month? How much am I going to get in a year? Don't begin to ask yourself how much you're going to get in a year. Just be blank to whatever you're saving. Pretend as if you're not saving anything, but you're keeping money aside. And at the end of the day, you're amazed at what you realize at the end of the month or at the end of the year or whatever. So just make saving your habits. All right. I'm going to key into what uh, C. White just said. And I'm going to say this. Be wise. Plan properly. Save well. And enjoy life to the fullest. My name is Ameze Obaisiag. When I've had Caroline Okonji, the ever-glowing C. White, and of course, all my other ladies who joined us on the program via their various videos and uh, actually sharing their comments, their opinions. And to all of you who are actually watching us right now, and of course, you shared your own opinion on Facebook. Thank you so, so much. There will always be a repeat version, or should I say a version on YouTube. If you actually missed any episode in the past, you can go up on YouTube at ITV Radio. And of course, check it out. Have a beautiful night rest and uh, do join us again next time. Yeah, from Little Kim, the Queen B. It's Ladies Night, what? It must be Angie on the mic. The butter pea, honey, got the sugar, got the spice. Roll the L sight, keep the rhymes right. Yo, I just made this mother up last night. And uh, I'm the rookie on this all-star team. Me and Kim is getting cream, like Delman Louise, but on chrome. Never leave that.